What's up everyone? So, I am back after a little while. I'm back to making some dirt bike TikTok videos. Um, that's mainly what my channel kind of started on when I had a dumbass pool video where I slammed a stick through my hand that uh, I remembered I had in my photos and videos from years ago and posted a TikTok and it went stupid crazy and I kind of didn't want to post anything else there for a while because I don't know I, I kind of felt like a dipshit I was so drunk in night pool and it was a lot of fun the shit sealed up or nothing wrong with it never really was I went about pulled that shit out but uh, yeah I'm back to making motorcycle TikTok videos I've got a lot of projects I'm working on um, this bike right here is my CR500 and I'm going to be um, adding some goodies to it, which I'll show you here in a minute. But uh, I just had this thing out of the dunes down there um, at uh, Sand Mountain, Utah, of Sahara. And this thing was a ripper. It uh, ran really good. I had some electrical issues, which I'll tell you about here in a minute. But I've got everything to fix it back up and be back out there. I also just got a drone, so I'm going to be making some pretty good drone footage of riding. And I've um, got a couple GoPros and a couple people to go with me now. I uh, spent the last year pretty much living out of my camp trailer and my house is being built. So I'm kind of just getting back into everything. But uh, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to make good videos of writing and everything behind writing. There's a lot of fixing things up that keep all this, this shit running all the time that uh, isn't writing related. So um, we'll get into that and we're just going to have fun along the way. All right, so check out the first set of parts I'm gonna put on this thing. This is a brand new Pro Circuit Works CR500 AF pipe. Um, this thing is made specifically for the AF frame. It has the pipe mount here that actually works. I'll show you over here on this FMF pipe. I like the MF, FMF pipe, had good power. The only issue I had was the motor mount here would not line up, causing vibrations. And um, it would vibrate almost every bolt loose that pipe would end up coming out and I'd get an exhaust leak when then I ended up having a failure in my exhaust valve because it was rattling that loose in the bolts. So I have a new exhaust valve here. I always go with MSB racing. This is good stuff. Um, this is billet aluminum. Has a bigger slot to so get your springs in there. Give you new springs. New all rings and new bottom. This goes on the bottom bolt of that, so the springs can go on. And I also went with their high performance Mondo ignition coil. This provides um, a little higher spark, which I need. Sometimes I have ignition problems. Um, lately that hasn't been an issue, but I am making a couple other upgrades as well. So right here, this is a Pantera Motorsports electric start kit. Comes with the starter. This battery, which I'm kind of worried about, it's kind of big. It is a 24 volt battery to be able to turn over to CR500. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it in this AF frame, but I'm gonna figure something out. And if I can't do that, I might have to rig something up with some Milwaukee M18 batteries or something. So they give you the wiring harness, a bracket, which is say, that's a big bracket. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit that on, on this frame anywhere. I'm already pretty limited for space. So, the other parts that they give you in this kit is they give you a new flywheel, a new gear to go on the flywheel for the starter, and they give you a new magneto, which I just dropped both of those bolts. Got the bolts back, but uh, yeah, so we're going to be putting this on. We're going to be making a couple project videos. Um, we're going to be doing... This CR500 is going to be getting all that work, the electric start. Again, this already has the built performance um, billet aluminum cases on it. And it's kind of cool, this serial number on these cases. I don't know if you can see that there. 94, Kevin Roxon. Hell yeah. But um, yeah, we're going to be doing a bunch of work, placing all the bolts, getting this thing back up in tip top shape. Again, my dog won't get out of the way, so you can't see a good view. Uh, right now, I've got a paddle on. I just got it back from the dudes. The next step, we're going to be working on this KX500, bringing it back to service. And this is my brother's. And we're, right now, we got a pan under it because it's been leaking. It's got a, it's weeping between the um, coolant side and the oil side of the pump. So 
we're going to be replacing that flywheel housing. KX500 on that side, the case is a one piece. It doesn't have a separable unit, so we're trying to find any aftermarket um, people who build or CNC a case for that right half that splits where it a uh, clutch. So if, if there's a manufacturer that does that, uh, let me know in the comments. And last but not least, and you're going to hate on me because it's four stroke. Now, this is uh, my daily. I'd probably put the most riding I have on this machine here. Uh, it's just fun to ride. It takes it easy on the old man. I'm only 32, but uh, this, shit, this beats the shit out of me anymore. So I'm just, this one's pretty up to service. I just need to maybe do a couple upgrades. It gets beat on and doesn't get any of the attention the other ones do. So uh, between that and the Razor and the camp trailer projects, I'm back. I'm happy to be back. And um, I'll be making a lot more content for you guys. So if you're interested, like and subscribe. Um, DM me if you have any, any good pointers or if you want to, you know, give me some advice or something where to go with these things. So let me know. Thanks.